Hi everyone, Brian Fraser here with Adamson Systems. I'd like to introduce you to Adamson's newest applications engineer, Jeremiah Carney. Hi everyone, in this episode we will take you through the basics of the auto shoot function. The auto shoot function can be activated by clicking the auto shoot button on the cross section graph or by selecting auto shoot from the tools drop down menu. Starting with our 2D design from the previous tutorials, activate the auto shoot function. The pop up window offers the following options to automate. Z frame refers to the height of the rigging frame. Selecting this option will allow Blueprint AV to select the appropriate height to hang your array for optimal coverage. Use this when you don't have a fixed rigging height. Frame angle is always selected as a default and refers to the angle the rigging frame will be hung at. Checking the near field limit box allows you to set where the coverage pattern of the array will begin. For example, if you have a crowd barrier at 3 meters from the front of the stage, you could select this box and type 3 in the until frame field. The box plus angles field allows you to choose any of Adamson's line array product to automate in a space. The amount of boxes in the array will vary depending on the size of the space. An option to make combined arrays of y-axis series boxes is available with a minimum field for y18s. The only angles field is useful when using a predetermined amount of enclosures in an array. Selecting this option will allow automation of only the display angles within the array. The distribution factor field allows the auto shoot function to change the distribution factor displayed in the distribution graph so that the array will cover the entire listening area. If the distribution factor box is unchecked, auto shoot will remain limited by the distance between the focal points of each box as determined by the distribution factor scale that has been set in the distribution graph. The directivity control section allows you to determine how much coverage you want at the back of the listening area. Hard directivity control refers to the initial decline for the green line in the distribution graph, which minimizes display between the top boxes of your array. Soft directivity control refers to the second decline for the green line in the distribution graph and allows for a natural tapering off of coverage towards the back of the room. The auto shoot function is intended as a tool to set initial splay and should not be used as the final step in your array design, but more on that later. We suggest trying out the auto shoot function on your own in several different spaces to get the feel for how it works. Stay tuned for the next installment of the Adamson Blueprint tutorial video series.